Hi there, here we have the 2018 LDQ3. This is the 1.4 TFSI Black Edition. I'll do a video walking around the car, showing you the condition of the bodywork. I'll also be jumping inside the car, showing you the interior and all the controls as well. Right, so starting off with the front, as you can see, it does have the Xenon headlights. It does also have the um, front parking sensors. It's a nice black grille there. It does obviously go very nice with the um, with the metallic grey. Black alloys all around the car as well. So these are the 19 inch alloys, as you can see, they're nice and clean. Being the black edition, you also do have the black just at the bottom there. It does have the um, the rear privacy glass. It's a very, very nice color combination. It is a one previous owner. It does have a full service history. So main dealer service history, so all the, all the paperwork from Audi. When the car came in, Rushmore's have done a full mechanical check and a full service. And then your 12 months MIT will also be done at point of sale. So a few age related marks. You can see that there's, that there's one little minus mark just there. Another one just there. So at the end of the day, it is a used car. So you do have a few chips. Other nothing major at all. It doesn't stand out at all. No sort of major scuffs or dents on the back bumper. It does have the rear parking sensors as well. AA warranty as well as the 12 months breakdown cover. So that all comes in with the price of the car. You do also have the option to extend your warranty up to 36 months. So this is something we highly recommend at Rushmore's. Obviously more as a peace of mind than anything when buying a car like this. So it does also have the roof rails. You've seen the exterior. Let's jump inside the car, show you the interior as well. Starting off with the uh, front passenger door. Nice little marks on the, on the door there. It does have a nice gloss just there as well, so it gives it a nice finish. See your owner's manual and all your books as well. It does have the um, electric windows, half leather seats as you can see s line badge as well so these are the sport seats so inside the car it is nice and clean as you can see it does also have the lumbar support on the um on the front seats right okay moving on to the back door now once again the nice black gloss just there on the um on the door it does have the rear electric windows as well once again, half leather at the back as well. It does also have the Isofix. So it's a nice safety point for the children. Right, let's have a look at the uh, boot space. So it is an electric tailgate, as you can see. So it does actually have a quite decent boot space with two seats. You can also see the back seats do fold as well. So if you wanted a bit more space, then obviously you can. There's your button just to close that boot. Right, just before we go over to the driver's side and show you all the controls, let's have a look at the back seats once more. So nice little marks on the um, on the doors. If you can see the leather seats at the back, obviously they are quite nice. Nice and clean. It does have this sort of white stitching around the seats as well, so very, very nice. Pet free and smoke free, so there is no odors inside the car. Right, so let's have a look at the um, the driver's side door now. It does also have the um, the Bose sound system. So obviously, the um, if you can see just there, it might not be clear on the actual um, video, but it does have the sort of ambient lighting around the um, around the speaker. So all four speakers on all the doors have the ambient lighting. Um, around the actual speaker as well, which is quite nice. It does stand out a lot more when it is obviously dark. You have your heated and folding electric um, mirrors. You also have obviously your uh, front and rear electric windows controlled by the driver, obviously if it needs to be. Driver side seat, obviously as I said, it does have the lumbar support as well. Once again, the S-Line badge, obviously being the um, sport. So as you can see inside the car, it is nice and clean. 
very very minor scratch just there as you can see however nothing major at all once again let's just um turn the car on and show you the controls as well right so it does have the lever multifunctional steering wheel with obviously the um, s line badge as you can see there the flat base which is quite nice to have pedal shift Just down below you have your um, air con. Let's just close just. Okay, right, so the reason why it was beeping obviously because the door was open. Okay, right, so let's go back to where we was. It does have the um, the air con as you can see just there. At the moment it is on low, so it has the dual climate control. So if the um, front passenger wants it to be hot and then the driver side wants it to be cold, um, then they can obviously have their own sort of temperatures. So let's just turn this off so you can hear me. If we go onto the actual screen, so the screen is controlled by the um, buttons just here, the radio, of course, and obviously all the other buttons. So let's go back onto the um, onto the screen. And if we go onto the map, obviously that's your destination um, entry. If we go onto the map, obviously you can see the view, the, the view of the map. You can zoom in and zoom out as well, which is quite nice to have. If we go onto the telephone, it does also have the um, the Bluetooth phone and audio. So obviously it doesn't have any sort of phones connected at the moment. However, very, very nice and easy to pair up. So if there's any phone calls that come through, they can be answered um, on the on the steering wheel or you have your buttons as well. So, so it does give you the hands-free option so you don't have to touch your phone. Also, once the phone is connected, you also have the media so you can play your music through um, for your YouTube or your Spotify or whatever it is you play your music on your phone can be played on the actual car as well. It does have the DAB radio, which is quite nice to have as well. Okay, so there is a drive select button as well. So the car obviously has to be on, which I'm gonna turn on just now so you can see the um, park pilot as well. So if I put the car in reverse, it does have the S-Tronic gearbox, which is quite nice to have once again. If we look just here, you have your parking aid, so you have your front and rear sensors as well. Um, obviously the closer you get, it goes from green to orange to red, obviously red being the closest. It has the um, the beeping noise as well, so obviously as, as um, you go closer to the object in front of you or behind you, um, it does um, start beeping. Let's put it back in park. As soon as it goes in park, then obviously it changes back to the radio or wherever it was originally. Okay. Now you can see the um, the ambient lighting around the speaker a bit more. So just down below here, you have the electric parking brake. You also have the auto hold. So obviously, if you're in um, if you're on a on a hill, um, it will it will basically hold the car as well for you. It does have the um, the 12 volts just there? Your two cup holders. It does have the lever armrest as well, as you can see. Auto lights. Right, so you've seen the um, condition of the exterior and interior of the um, of the Audi. If there is any further questions or you need finance arranging, then please don't hesitate to give us a call. Um, or if you need any sort of finance advice, then obviously once again, give us a call or email us as we're more than happy to help you and answer any of your questions. Alright, thanks for watching.